Hello Taurus, thank you for stopping by. This is Elizabeth. I hope your week went well, that you are abundant, happy, healthy, as always. Again, today I'm going to look into the message for you for this coming week. Take in what resonates and leave the rest. Our cards are already shuffled and I just want to take this opportunity to thank you those who support me and my small channel. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment so others can see the message as well. Thank you for those um, doing so. And so I want to um, welcome and um, someone or uh, whoever is new to my channel and stop by just today and know that you are always welcome as always. All right, so let's take a look into the message for you for this coming week. In the beginning of the week, you have Ten of One. In the middle of the week, you have Seven of One. Already, so end of the week, you have energies of uh, Ace of Cup. A good energy, all of them are. Let's take a look into the message from the bottom of the deck. You have a King of One here. Wow, there's a lot of One. So. Just let you know that you are uh, very motivated and you are very ambitious. You are very um, uh, well knowledge at a leadership role and you are <coughs> capable and you are in the eyes of the um, uh, com community. People look up to you. King of one is a king of communication, a visions that you put into work and creativities and all the things that you touch become food function. So that's the energies of the king of one for you there, Taurus. All right, so let's take a look into the message uh, for beginning of the week. This is Monday and Tuesday, by the way. So you have the energies of uh, 10 of 1, looks like you are working, you are working really hard. You're working a lot of days and you're working many, many hours. So now it's going to end up for you now. So working too hard, many days, and you're working too many hours. So just know that um, it is necessarily stop and asking yourself, is this a, a, a priority? This is um, good for you. Is this good for your health? This is good, good for your um uh, daily activities. So ask yourself that all of this hard work, all of this everyday working, <clears throat> is this what is that required or you are making yourself doing this? So remember that when people coming to you, uh, tell them about their issue, it doesn't mean that they want you to carry their baggage for them. Perhaps all they want you to do is listening and that's it. Be a good listening ears. So if you carry someone else's load, maybe maybe you gotta stop. You know, if you're doing so, it's going to make you um, more or less stress here. Asking you for this message here to make sure you be balanced in life. You know, the, the works balance, the life balance, the health balance, the spirit, mind, and soul balance. Everything got to balance it out here. So if you work too hard just for yourself, too many hours, too many days, this is time for you to ask for help. Ask other people to help you. Uh, it's, it's okay to ask for help. You are not weak. You are, um, uh, have enough strength. But for some reason, all of us cannot do everything by ourselves. Okay? So now ask yourself, if someone else asking you and you carry their load, is that person capable? Is that person put in a, a work just like you are. So don't try to carry their load for them. 
Let them do as much they can, and then they can ask for help, just like you are. The message is telling you here, Taurus, that it is okay to ask for help. You don't need to carry someone else's load. Allow them to do it for themselves. If they come to you, ask them to do as much as they can, and then you are going to get someone to help them. And remember, if someone come to you about their problem, their issue, and their load, they simply just want you to have a good ear to listen. That's it. You don't need to do the load for them. Remember, if you keep pushing and forward with this heavy load, how many heavy hours that you're doing here, you're going to cause yourself some issue, a health problem, a stress, um, uh, all kind of issue. Uh, for not being balanced, okay? So stay balanced here, all right? So let's look forward into the middle of the week. You have energies of seven of one coming in for Wednesday and Thursday. As the seven of one, you can see here that, you know, you, you're working, things are coming forward you. However, uh, in life, um, in your life journeys, it's always going to have things coming toward you to cause you a heartache, to cause you a road, a bumps in the road, to co cause you a thorn in the way. So remember though, you are going to fight this off. You are in the position of winning. You have enough strength. You have enough energy to fight off anything that coming your way because you, Taurus, are very successful of do doing this type of thing. So stand up for yourself and your belief. You know you can do this. You know you can combat this situation, whatever coming back towards you here. You have uh, self-confident. You have confident and skill to um, bring this um, situation, uh, the issue down. And that you are going to win because this challenging um, here coming towards you to test your you and your ability see if you can combat this yes you can so make sure that you choose your power um, uh, correctly choose your power wisely and battle things wisely and in the very end when you use your inner strength your knowledge and your capability and you will knock everything down that coming your way, that prevent you from going forward, that prevent you from being success. Stand up, believe, and have confidence, okay? Okay, let's go forward into the message of the end of the week. This is um, Ace of Cup coming toward you for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here, Taurus. Just know that Ace of Cup it's involved many emotional uh, fulfilling of love, caring, and love. It's as big as the ocean. The waters uh, overflow, offering you a love and hope and emotional, beautiful things that happen, happen in your life. Even you have this dolphin behind you and smiling and the sun of um, the sun's uh, shining on the water or the uh, the moon ray the f uh, full moons are shining on the water here giving you lots of love emotion and hope and kind and loving this is a beautiful emotional experience for you it could be love could be any kind of thing Perhaps this is a romantic relationship with someone or a deep friendship with certain individual here. This is awakening of maybe psychic ability or spiritual insight for some of you. Perhaps some of you may receive a love letter, love poem, love message, love email, uh, a telephone call telling you someone is loving you. Also, because the Ace of Cup here, maybe it is a new home. The message telling you here, love. 
love is the answer. Okay, love is a, a great thing to to have in our life, in our community, in the world. Uh, without love, the world will be dark. The world will be black. And make sure that you choose love before being right. And make sure you choose love. Uh, being one to win, because when you choose love every time, and then you will always be right every time, and you will always have love every time. And also look inside your home at the love, have enough love to carry on. Okay, this week that's what um, the spirit asks you to do. Look inside within your home, your love life, whatever that your environment. Make sure that you have enough love within. Even love for yourself, most of all, love for yourself is most important. And then any kind of love, any kind of feeling, emotion will pouring to you because when you give yourself love, give someone else a love, all the love you give out will come back to you. And all of love that you give yourself, and you deserving, and people will respect you and pouring love back into your life for you. Let's take a look into the. More message of the uh, oracle of the um, message here. Uh, we you have a music. You hear these musics are good for you in your life. Sometimes you know what. Sometimes you in the sad mode, stress mode. You know when you listen to music, it's all it's better. So just listen to the music carefully. Listen carefully for the there may be a message in the music uh, um, that you hear. So um, just listen carefully because the music can lift your soul, can rekindle, and bring a memory and a charm to your door. So listen to the music anytime. Sing if you need to. Sing and listen to music. The words that coming towards you could be a message for you. It many 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 meaning um, in that music. So pay attention and listen to the music. Music of the heart, the language of love, perhaps the language of cure of the anxiety, a language of keep you comfort. So never never underestimate the power. Of the music, music can keep you calm and comfort as well. Let's go forward with the message from this um, oracle as well. This message telling you, I choose peace. Do you know when you choose peace? You also have peace inside your heart. Look at this piece of wood writing on the beautiful leaves of the flower, the orange. So you choose peace, and you will have peace. Okay, but it'd be nice that every day that you choose peace and you have peace in your heart. That's bring you most joys and the love. So life does not want you to suffer. You struggle because you let life love you, only so much. Where there is drama in your life, let grace in. See that? Let grace in. Let love in, and then all the conflict and drama will disappear. Just know that life does not want you to suffer. Your mom and dad, when they give you birth. They never wish that you are suffering, so they aren't wishing well for you. Want to love you, give you love and cherish, um, kindness and loving towards you. This is how you're supposed to. To choose your life, choose peace and love, and let you know, let the life love you. Let the love flowing in. Only thing you need to do now, open your heart to receive it. Open your heart to receive love, to receive peace, and make sure that never let any drama in into your life, because you deserve much more. No drama, no conflict. Let grace, let love 
flow into your heart and your life. Okay, so let's take a look into the message of the angel of the abundance for you here, Taurus. Mm, look at that. So let's take a look into this message for you. The message of angel of, of abundance telling you detox your friendship. See that. So you choose wisely who you allow to come into your life. A friendship. When you have a good friend who stand by you, by your side, thick and thin, love you, respect you, and support you, no matter what, what's going on in your life, no matter what, what they know about you and your life, they still love you, want to be your friend, and want to support you, and stand by you through thick and thin, Detox your friendship here, Taurus, because your abundant flow is being affected by the people with whom you are spending time with. So be careful who you spend your time with. So be discerning about your association and relationship. Choose to be with people who are inspiring you and be generous to you and support you period. The rest of the friendship, you can block them out. Choose a good friend and friendship will carry you and support you a long way in your life. So choose your friend wisely. All right. So that's message coming uh, for you for this coming week, Taurus. Before then, take care, Taurus.